we mentioned using a word processor and a terminal at the same time. So here it is, terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and use maybe one that's called grass, bright green one. Personally, I don't really like it, but there we go. And the question was, how can I use these side by side, use them together, use to work in different things? Well, I've shown you before, I have a program that allows me to work with Windows really easily, saved states right here. I'm not going to use the menu. I'm going to use my hotkeys. And actually, I want that to be 50% over there and 50% over there. And then I could go ahead and I could work with these. For example, this is called A. This is just a file that I created and then I actually threw out. It's in the trash. Well, I could go ahead, change the name here, and I could change where it is here as well. So I can move it. But let's not do it with pages itself. We want to make sure that our terminal is going to work. And so I'm going to say move. And then, well, I don't feel like typing in the whole path right here. So I'm just going to pick up the proxy icon and move it over. And then where do I want to move it to? Well, I could go ahead and just drag this over and type some of that in, or I could copy and paste. Actually, let's go do that. Do it that way. So I'm going to want it to be in user snit, and I'm going to use my standard copy and paste hotkeys, command C, and then just command V. And then I'm going to want it on the desktop. Oops, desktop, D-E-S, and I'll hit tab to finish that, of course. And instead of calling it A, we can call it um, Fred, doesn't matter. And it does need to have that same file extension, fred.pages. Boom. So now it's moved. And if we come over here, look at this. It's now called Fred. And of course, it's on the desktop. So we know that this is working. So that's normally how I would do side by side. But that's not the only option I have. I can, let's say they weren't side by side still. Let's go shrink this down and even shrink this one down. Here's another little cool thing I can do. I'm shrinking it down. It's coming in from the edges. If I want to just have them sort of side by side that way, I could have done the same thing over there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that full screen. Again, I could use the mouse and I could come down here and I could hit mission control or I could just hit command up arrow. I'm sorry, I could hit control up arrow to go ahead and see mission control. And then I can go ahead, get this window right here and just drag it to wherever I want it to go. Which side do I want it to be on? I could decide that. If I wanted to, I could stick it on its own desktop, by the way. But I'm going to go ahead, and eh, it doesn't matter. Maybe that's the side I had it on before. I'll use there. And boom, now they're side by side. But it gets, oh, this right here, if I move over here, I can get my format information. I could also do this and get that. But if I just want to fly out, I can do that. And with both of these, with both of them, maybe I don't want to work just in one word processor document, and I don't want to work on just one terminal. So I might want more. So I'm going to hit this tab right here, and I'm going to get another one. Hit another tab, hit another tab. Right click on there, does nothing. We'll see that's not the same over here where we have more choices, but I have a key on my a button on my mouse that allows me just to go back and forth on these. I could go left and right. Well, let's take a look at the terminal. I could go ahead, I could just hit the plus, but you know what? That gives me another one that's green. If for me, I'd keep them probably the same. I just have my regular one. But for you, it's important that there be different colors in terminals. For whatever reason, you've talked about doing it from a remote server or whatever. So I'm going to right click on this and I will say new tab. And I could say new tab with settings grass. That's the standard. But I could also pick another one. Boom. I can't new tab, red sands. Whichever I want. Uh, let's even do one more because I have four on the other. I will do four here and boom, using those same keys, go in one direction, go the other direction. I can get through those two, those two windows. I could still click back here. I could click back here. I could scroll up down. I could use them. And the advantage here with going the full screen, the true full screen on a Mac is I can resize. Notice there is a I don't know. It's a quirk that I'm not real fond of. If this is my front window, when I go to resize, the other one blurs out. If this is my front window and I go to resize, the secondary one blurs out. It would be nice if they both stayed crisp there and didn't have to blur out. So whatever, a little bit of a quirk. I'm going to go back into my switcher right here. And I'm going to say I don't want either of these full screen anymore. So I'll just go ahead, boom, and take them out of full screen. And here they are, the same size they were before. And of course, those same keys work to get them to go back and forth.